And joining me now is one of the Republican candidates on the stage last week and will continue to be on the stage, uh, John Kasich, the governor of Ohio. So, uh, governor, thank you so much for joining me. And let's just start with what you heard from Ted Cruz there, the whole idea that uh, in the future only Republicans should moderate Republican debates. Uh, you know, Dana, I'm the governor of the seventh largest state in America. And I have had so many questions thrown at me uh, over the course of my time. Of course, I was also in Washington for a number of years, uh, where you know there's been, there was a lot of chaos. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really focused on all this stuff. I mean, who should be? You know, look. Here's what I do know. I know that Harry Truman couldn't get elected president with uh, explaining the United States of America's health care plan in 30 seconds. <laughs> I would prefer to do what you and I did when we were in New Hampshire together, and that's, a, that's for you to ask me a lot of questions over a, 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 you know, a period of time where I could actually explain myself instead of having to go so quickly to c take on complex issues in short periods of time. I, I hear you. But, you know, you. look, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's too short, but it's what you deal with. I mean, I, I can sit around and, you know, criticize everybody. It's just not my style on this thing. I will, cons I will criticize programs and plans that I think are goofy, which I did in the last debate. You know, things like shipping 10 or 11 million people out of this country and some Gov fantasy that we're going to get the Mexican government to pay for the wall or, or abolishing Medicare or Medicaid or making a voluntary program. I mean, I don't want to attack people, hey, but I am going to attack I programs that I think hurt the Republican Party, hurt the conservative movement, and don't put us in a position of where we could actually win an election and turn America I, around. I, I, I get all of that, and I appreciate the fact that you want to have uh, substantive discussions, and I enjoyed your, our time together when we were uh, in, in Ohio, I mean, in New Hampshire. But, you know, I want to talk specifically about the fact that the Republican electorate is different from uh, the way it had been in the past. And, you know, the red state, which is a very conservative blog, came after you and said, for all that people criticize Jeb Bush, Kasich is far and away the candidate in this field who is just utterly clueless about the Republican electorate as a whole. Worse, to the extent that Kasich does understand Republicans, he dislikes them. What's your response to that, Governor? Well, first of all, you know, nobody's ever been elected president from the Republican Party that can't win Ohio. And I, I don't really care about blogs. Here's what I want to do. You don't care about uh, blogs. Let, Dana, me just, let, me just, look, let me just interrupt for one second. Yeah, I, know, I get that yeah. you don't care about blogs, but I think that the reason why I brought that up is because, um, you know, the conservative electorate is, is, for the most part, in charge of picking the Republican presidential nominee. Yeah. And there's some who look at you and say, you know, he sounds sometimes more like a Democrat than a Republican, and they don't think that you're conservative enough. Well, but Dana, I've balanced budgets. I was the chief architect in Washington. We created jobs. Families were better. I came to Ohio. We were $8 billion in the hole. Now we're $2 billion in the black. We have lots of school choice. I've cut taxes by more than any sitting uh, governor in America, Republican governor. Uh, we, you know, families are better. Wages are growing faster than the national average. Our credit is strong. What is there not to like? But look, here's what my goal is. I not only want to cut taxes and create jobs for families, but ship a lot of programs back home so that people will be empowered to begin to build our families and our communities, which is about the spirit of our country. Now, if that's not conservative, you tell me what is. Uh, this week, the Bush <laughs> campaign. <laughs> it's so silly. Dana, look. <laughs> I have been a conservative all of my lifetime. I, I'm not, I'm not I, the one I'll questioning you your conservative credentials. But, it's, it's, but it's Dana, some of the here's the funny thing. Because I care about the Republican uh, primary look, process. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing fine. Look at, my, look at what I'm doing in New Hampshire. You've been up there with me. I'm, I'm doing well in Mississippi. I'm headed there this week in Alabama. Uh, you know, we're gaining a lot of places. And you know what, though? This Republican Party has to make sure that people know that we care about them. I care about poor people, about people who live in the shadows, about those who are mentally ill or drug addicted. We've been on this, th these things for five years, and now states are beginning to say, my God, we got a drug problem in our country. What do we do? Our people are advising other states about what to do. That is conservatism to give people a chance to live out their God-given potential. And because some people say they don't like my tone or because I question abolishing Medicare or Medicaid, that that's not conservative, 
listen, I have a plan to improve Medicare and Medicaid. I've done it in Ohio. To say that we're going to deport 10 or 11 million people and divide families, that's just nutty. Governor, that's just not going to happen. And it will cost us in the fall because it will not stand. Governor, the, it I will wanna... not stand when the light shines. We have to be reformers. We have to send power back to people. We have to rebuild families and communities and balance our Governor, budgets. To I get can do the nomination, all of that. you're probably going to have to, at least in the short term, do better than, I mean, obviously all of the candidates, but in the short term, do better than uh, Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio, who tend to sort of fight in your lane uh, in the Republican primary process. Uh, Marco Rubio has been criticized by Jeb Bush, especially in the last debate, for uh, missing lots of votes in the Senate. Marco Rubio says, you know, it's okay. You were in Congress. Uh, do you think that that is a problem? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that, there are too many big issues to talk about, about, you know, whether you miss a few votes in the Senate. What I'm more concerned about is what is, what are we going to do to get the economy moving and get power out of Washington? Uh, I, I'm, I don't consider that to be, you know, something I'm going to focus on at this point for the simple reason that there's too many other things that are out there that have the potential to turn voters off who don't understand what conservatism and what the Republican Party is all about. And I'll give you an example, Dana. We have a, a plan from one of the people who's leading the field that would increase the national debt by $10 trillion. Now, when you present that to people and say, we're going to put our, ch t our children $10 trillion more in the hole, who's going to vote for that? That's not conservatism. Conservatism is cutting taxes and cutting government all at the same time to but give us a balanced budget. Governor, so, Governor, we, Mark, we got to we got to yeah. go. But before we do, I just want to say that uh, you must uh, feel a little bit like the Cheshire, Cheshire Cat and having that kind of grin in, in the fact that uh, the former governor of California took Donald Trump's job on The Apprentice, but he's out there campaigning for you, or at least raising money for you. Real quick. Well, here, yeah, he's great. Look, here's the thing. I try not to speak for Arnold because if I do, I may be terminated. <laughs> You'll have to get it from him. I love him. He's a buddy of mine.